Well, I'm just leaving the, the house right now and I wanted to come talk to you guys. My house is almost done being built. We're getting really close. I got some things I want to talk to you guys about. You know, a lot of you have been with me since the very beginning and things are growing very fast. And I got, I got some things I want to share with you. Things are changing as I grow. All of you are important to me and I appreciate you being here. So let's talk about it. Uh, it's nice to be able to get out here for a cool day in Florida. I'm doing a ruck with a 40 pound pack on today. I was hoping to do a lot more of these this month, but I'm going to tell you, work, I've been spending a lot of time at work and at my work, where I work, I, I do in-room dining at a five-star hotel and I usually get about three to four miles of walking in every day. Something one of my viewers commented today mentioned something about loving my transparency and it made me think of something immediately that I have held in high regard. I've been a student of history for a long time and one of my favorite people from history is George Washington. Now as with anybody you study from history, the more you study any of your heroes, the more you're going to realize they were as human as you and me. They had flaws, they made bad choices, they made mistakes, they had viewpoints you may not agree with. So I don't ever put anybody completely high up on a pedestal. But I will say that both his friends and his enemies had the ability to say George Washington was an honest man. So. I have always held that same thing in high regard for me. I remember I read where he had said he would like his epitaph to read, Here Lies an Honest Man. And I thought, I'd be happy with that. If I could just be known as an honest man after I'm gone, I'd be happy with that. I don't have to be a famous man or a rich man or anything like that. Just to be known as honest. I tried to find that quote where he said that and I couldn't find it. But I found an article written by somebody where it talked about the notion of ordered liberty. And I don't think this notion of ordered liberty was even a thing per se when Washington was alive. But the general notion of it was he believed <clears throat> that citizens should behave honestly because that's an important part for a civilization to function. When you make a contract with somebody to do something for them for payment or for them to do something for you for payment, where it should be, that's what the law should be used to enforce, is when we make agreements with each other that we do what we said we were gonna do. There's a lot of difficulties that come when it deals with enforcement of laws like this, and I won't get into a lot of detail on that, but ultimately it just gets down to the fact that if people do what they say they're gonna do, things tend to go a lot better for everybody. And I remember reading somewhere one time that it might have been Ayn Rand that talked about somebody who lies, somebody who tells lies may think he's getting something over on a person. But ultimately, he becomes a slave to that person that he lied to. Because now he has to maintain that lie to be able to maintain any standing or position or whatever it is that he lied to obtain. And that's that's just kind of the way I see it, is that we do ourselves a disservice when we don't treat each other with honesty. And another side of that ordered liberty concept was the alternative is chaos and lawlessness. And these days I see a lot of chaos and lawlessness in our society and in our world. And I'd like to be an agent of change for that. And I even mentioned that in the comment that I responded to the person who made that comment earlier today. And it made me think about the fact that I started watching YouTube regularly around 2012 and unplugged all the cable and just started using online services like that. And back then, there were no commercials. There were hardly any commercials if there were any. I can't remember as clearly as I would like, but I remember there being a time when there was no commercials or at least there wasn't very many. Since then, there's commercials on everything. And the better they get, the more commercials they have because now the, the content creator is creating his own commercials and you got YouTube commercials too. Ultimately, I've discovered why that happens. And I just want to share it with you guys. YouTube doesn't pay us very much. That's bad enough. But the other side of it that I don't like is a lot of times they're showing you commercials that are either counterproductive to what I'm talking about or go against my own personal beliefs. 
because I never get to see what commercials they're gonna select. But I see a lot of the commercials that they play for me when I'm watching YouTube, and I think, why in the world are they showing me this garbage? I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in the philosophy behind that. I'm not interested in supporting a company that believes that. I'm not interested in supporting a product that works that way, whatever it might be. And as Ferrigno Freedom Channel has grown, you know, I'm about to hit 30,000 subscribers. It seems like just yesterday I was thanking you guys for 3,000 subscribers and here we are 10 times later and it feels like it wasn't that long ago. I think it was the beginning of last year. And you know, some people say, well, that's slow growth. I haven't been begging for subscriptions. I'm not one of those guys that comes on and asks you to like and subscribe and do all that stuff. I figure if you like what I'm saying, you're gonna subscribe anyway. You hear enough of that from all the other YouTubers out there. And I'm trying to be different than all the other ones. I'm trying to just be me and share the story that I have to share because I think my story is helpful for so many people who are trying to get healthy, who are trying to break free from a body that they felt trapped in most of their lives, where you felt overweight or unhappy or out of shape or unhealthy because I have found that through Lion Diet. It's changed so many things for me. It's, it's caused me to get to the point where I wanna exercise regularly. I mean, I've already walked three miles today and now here I am getting out back again to go ruck. And, you know, honestly, it's mostly because I want to talk to you, but also because I've been wanting to get back to doing this. I don't want to just get off of work and feel like I want to go home and relax. And a lot of days, that's exactly how I feel because doing this and doing all the editing and making videos and coming up with new content and especially lately talking to different companies that want me to take a look at this new product they have and share with my viewers if I like it and all that. It's time consuming and I wanna spend time with my family. But this is my mission, what I'm doing here on YouTube. You are my mission. I wanna be able to help support you guys in getting to where you wanna be, to be an advocate for you because I know there's so many people out there trying to do a carnivore style diet and you run into a lot of feedback and flack from your own family and friends that makes you feel like you're crazy. Well, I'm here to be that guy that doesn't make you feel like you're crazy. Because unlike a lot of the other YouTubers talking about carnivore way of life, I'm not a doctor. I don't have an MD after my name. I don't have any books I've written. I just have a story that I think is compelling. And by the grace of God, I have a gift of communication Apparently, I have been amazed at some of the things you guys have told me about my talking to you, what it means to you, and how it affects you. But I want to be able to use that gift for good in the world. To be able to encourage other people to find the happiness I have found in this way of living. To be able to find the, the health that allows you to live the physical and spiritual life you really want to live. And that's why I do what I do. Now, I have for the first time ever, because of the number of people that have been contacting me, I have the opportunity to try a number of different products and see if they're any good. Ultimately, I wanna know if this thing is gonna be a tool for my, my viewers to be able to use. This thing or this product or this service is gonna be a tool that my viewers can use to achieve their goals whether it's talking about something like an air fryer or a new device like the Dreo Chef Maker, which is basically an air fryer, but with some advanced features. You know, if this is gonna make your life easier to be able to maintain a carnivore diet, I'm all for it. But I really wanna be able to test it out and I don't always have a chance to test some of these products out as much as I would like. And this one has been unique because I've been able to work with it for nearly eight weeks and I've I've really put it through the ringer. It's been an excellent device, so I've enjoyed that. But some of my other experiences, they want me to get the product and hurry up and talk about it. I'm like, you gotta give me some time. You can't just tell me to start talking about your product if I don't like it, if I haven't even used it yet. So the one thing I wanna be able to tell you guys is even though you might see a few more commercials from me, I'm gonna try to be a little gentler about how I work them into the videos. I'm new at this, so 
give me some time to grow. I found that when I worked with good companies like Redmond, Redmond has been good to me and I have really enjoyed working with them. The people there are honest, hardworking folks. It was a smaller company that has seen great success and they'll tell you that my channel has been a big part of that for them. And I just wanna thank you guys because you made that happen. You're what made them notice that my channel made such a big difference for them. Companies like Carnivore Crisps that supported me when I was well under 3,000 subscribers. One of the, they were actually the first company to reach out to me. I had never even heard of the product before then. But ever since then, I've loved the product and I've been able to share it with you guys. They've treated me good and I think I've treated them good. And I think I've treated you good because I've told you what I really believe about the product. And I'm gonna to continue to do that with anything new that I talk about. One of the things I hate when I'm watching a YouTuber that I like to follow, and they start talking about something that based on their, my, based on my past experience with them, I'm pretty sure they don't really believe in the product they're talking about. Like it might be somebody who seems to be very, a little bit too serious for gaming. And then all of a sudden they're telling me about a video game, for instance. Or somebody who's recommending something online, like some of these, these identity theft protection companies or maybe something that keeps you safe while you're online. And I've used some of those programs and then I've been disappointed by how those programs worked. And I trusted the guy who told me to try them. You know, it doesn't mean I don't necessarily trust them anymore, but it makes me question, did you really use this? Did you really find this to be a helpful tool? All I can say is, if I ever tell you guys about a product that I'm representing on this channel, remember one, the reason why I'm doing these commercials and things is that I wanna spend more time doing my mission in life, trying to help others find out about this way of living and to encourage people to stay on the path of this way of living so that they can reap the benefits that I've, re that I've reaped from it, the health benefits, the way I feel so much younger and my look healthier and my wife is <laughs> much happier. I won't get into too much detail on that, but let me just say, she likes the way I look a lot better than before. She would have never said she had a complaint about before, but I know she likes it better. And I know that we're all, we always have to deal with people's feelings when it comes to talking to one another and we have to be sensitive to certain things. But deep down, I think most of us know if we look and feel healthy and what that projects to the world may not be what we wanna to project to the world. Well, I found a way to change my existence and I wanna be able to help others change theirs. Cause it's not only helped me with how I feel about my appearance, how I feel physically, but it's even helped me to have a better spiritual life. And I've talked about that on previous videos, so I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail, but ultimately it basically is along the same lines as I'm so careful about what I put in my body. I'm also a lot more careful about what I put in my mind and what I put my mind to. And that has allowed me to be more disciplined in every area, not just with what I eat. But that's, that's what I want for my audience. That's what I want for those who are watching this channel. To find encouragement, to find a like-mindedness toward doing the right thing. And to being the best you can be. And to help people to break free from what they've been trapped in. For, in some cases, most of their lives. My story the other day where I interviewed Rick Gladney. He's been a friend of mine for over 40 years. We're not the closest of friends, but we've been acquaintances at the very least for 40 years. And there's been times we've really had some good talks together. But I know he's dealt with a lot of difficulties. Living in the body he was living in. Being over 300 pounds and at one time over 400 pounds. And to be able to shed all that weight off and to feel like he feels like a normal human being now. It changes his whole perspective of his life makes him happier, makes his wife happier, makes his kids happier, makes his parents happier. You know, and if you're gonna be spreading happiness like that, I can't help but think that that's a great way to help 
society as a whole be better. And that's definitely something we can all agree we want to see better today. At least I think anybody who's got any sense wants society to be better. But I don't think it's something that can come from the top down. It has to be something that we start within ourselves, that we reflect to those around us, and that we're constantly working toward encouraging others and living by example, living the example that we want to see in others. Because if we're not going to live that example, how can we expect others to emulate it? I appreciate you guys being here. And I don't mean just watching this video. I mean those of you who have subscribed and those of you who keep commenting and liking the videos. Those things that help the algorithm. Because it's allowed my channel to grow. And it's getting me finally to the point where I might be able to do this full time. And I can't thank you enough. I mean... I have been not necessarily worried, but I've been wondering for the past year, how in the world am I gonna pay for this house? Nothing worked out exactly like I planned in the very beginning of moving here. But slowly over time, day after day, things have been okay. And now they're really starting to take off on YouTube and Rumble and with these affiliates and sponsors, I'm just, I'm just blown away by the fact that this has become what it's become. And I want to thank you guys for it. And I hope you'll continue to grow with me and stay with me as I start to implement some of these changes. But I'm going to keep the good content coming, I promise. I'm going to be as transparent and upfront about things that are going on. I'm going to talk about the things that I'm eating, share with you things about food, share with you things about exercise, encourage you to keep pressing on, and if I have difficulties and tribulations, I'll share those with you too. Because I want this to be something that anybody coming to this way of eating, this way of living, finding out, finding out about it for the first time, maybe watching one of my other videos, can go back and see the trail that I've been down and realize that this isn't pie in the sky. This is something that you can actually do and that your life can be changed by it. So that's all I got for today, guys. I'll see you next time. Sam says bye too. Hi, right, Sam. <laughs> Screw it. Get up and do it. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?